It's only me, 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 me. But there's a few people in, in the Bible that we all know, that we all read before in the Bible. Let's, Noah announced it, judge, to the generation in, in that time with the rain. Is that right? Everybody knows the Bible? Lot announced it, judge, into Sodom and Gomorrah. Is that right? Jesus said into, in, in those days, he, he announced it, that the days right now is going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah. Like, just like, like the days of Noah. Jonas, Jonas announced it, judge in Nineveh. John the Baptist and Jesus announced judge into the nation of Israel, Israel, especially to the Pharisees, especially to the people that when they were thinking that they were doing everything right way, when we know who Jesus hang around with. He didn't hang around with the good ones. He hang around with with the poor and the bad ones. But now we can make a difference. Us, you and me. If we believers, if we consider ourselves not creation of God, but if we consider if we considered sons and daughters of God, we can make a difference. Who says amen? Because we don't walk by a strength. We walk by? That's right. Amen. Is that right? Okay. Now, this is all I reminded for us. Because we all here in the church for a reason. Because we love God. Because we want to get saved. Psalms 90.10 tell us the, the days of our lives are 90, 70. And 80 with all our strengths because time flies and we, and we go. How old are you, Brother John? Praise the Lord. I'm 50. 49, I'll be 50 in November. In these 23 years, 24 years, that I've been studying Bible, and the way when God saved me, he saved me in a way that I wouldn't recommend. But he saved me. And I praise the Lord for him because he saved me. And I thank him. If he doesn't would have saved me, who knows what would have happened to me. I'll be either dead or in jail or who knows. And some people are being in, in drugs. Some people has been abused. Some people has been whatever. But now we're here because he saved us. He saved you and he saved me. Who am I going to point the finger? Because I got three fingers pointing at me. One you and one to God. And I don't want to do that. But the word of God is telling me what, is, what I'm doing for God. What I'm doing for me, what I'm doing for myself, what I'm doing for my family. Am I just thinking about me or am I thinking about my neighbor? Am I thinking about John or am I thinking about just me? Am I thinking about my mom, about my dad? Did they know the word of God? Did they know who our Savior is? Did they know what's going to happen when we die? Is that it? We're here and then we die and that's it? Well, let me tell you something. There's more to it. And boy, there's a lot more to it. This is just the flesh. The soul or spirit is going to be suffering. Either we do it the right way or we do it the wrong way. There's only two ways. You choose. We get to want to choose. Amen.
Now, Second of Corinthians five seventeen and eighteen is telling me what well, what we just read about all that we just read. If I see a man falling down, what am I gonna do? Am I just gonna be like the two men just pass by and let him? It's his deal. If he survives, it's on him. If I don't give him a hand, it's oh well. This is Second Corinthians five, seventeen and eighteen. Tell me, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is now creature. All all things are passed away. Behold, and things are became new. This is how you're going to prove. If you are really a Christian or not, either you're still thinking in the flesh or you're thinking in God. What did God what would God do? Is the question. I want to do what God wants me to do. I want God. What would God do if He was here among us? Am I gonna go and burn in hell for eternal life? Just because I don't like him? Just because I don't like her? Just because I'm thinking about me? Eighteen says, All of things are of God, who had reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given us, given to us, the ministry of reconciliation. Amen. The reconciliation is a really big word. But nobody sometimes we don't we don't think about that. We all well, at one point we are all gonna be in front of of God, of the Creator, and and we're gonna be oh, there's gonna be people who say, oh Lord, I gave food to the poor, I helped certain people, I did this, I did that, I did okay, all right, I know what you did because there's a book, it's called the Book of Life, and everything is written down. But I wanna, I'm gonna judge you because I'm the Creator. Who's been in court before? You've been in court? I've been in court too. I'm the front of judge. Sometimes with the lawyer and sometimes without a lawyer. I, I was driving. I kind of didn't stop at the right lines. More, I, There's a line and I, I almost went all the way. I should have just went through, but I just stopped. More. The people that was walking, they had to like go around the car. Because I didn't stop where I was supposed to. I pulled over, got a ticket, went to court. Um, I was judged by that. And I'm sure we're all going to be judged someday when we die. Revelations 20, 12 is, is telling me. The word of God is telling me. And the word of God is telling you. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book according to this is according to their works. Now, I don't, I don't want to lose the focus on, on the first verse we just read. 
but where is your heart? What are we doing? Are we loving our neighbor like God tells us to do? Or are we hating each other because you got a nice, good-looking beard and I don't? Or because you got hair and I don't? What are we doing? Are we really loving? Are we doing good works? Are we, because remember, we're going to get judged. Who says amen? Now, how are we going to get to that? How are we going to do good work? How are we going to help our needs of our neighbor? What are we going to do? I don't need no new shoes. I don't need no new suit. Matter of fact, I got these at the ark. They're nice. I work. I do drywall for a living. I try to help as much people that I can with work. Maybe a day here, a day over there. But I don't tell you, I'm not telling you these, I shouldn't be telling you these, but I, I do it. Not, bec- not because I want to get lifted, because I love God. What is, the, what is the fruit of the Holy Spirit? What is the fruit when you come to church. That's right. Now, God, what is what is God telling you? To love one another. If we don't have love for one another, that means we don't have love for God. But if we love one another, then that means we are new creatures in the love of God. It's not about you, it's not about me, it's about the love, it's about what Jesus did for us in the cross. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. This is what the fruit of the Holy Spirit But the fruit of of but but the fruit of the Holy Spirit is the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suf- long suffering, gen- gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness. Temperance against such, there is no law. Are you under the law or under the grace? Amen. So if you're under the grace, are you going to help the one in need? Amen. That's right. If Jesus died in the cross for you and for me, for the whole world, John, uh, Juan 5.23, this says, John is telling us, if, because, porque de tal manera, because the, de tal manera, because Jesus died on the cross for you, for, for those who want to, only for those, only for those, for everybody, but it's, it's your decision, it's for those who want to. Now, we decide if we want to or not. We are in the grace. It's our choice. But then again, right now we're living in the bad world. Nobody likes nobody. 
Nobody. I remember when my dad left the keys in the truck overnight. We left with the windows open. We didn't have no air conditioning. And at night, it was really hot. So we left, my mom left the windows open so that the uh, air would come because we didn't have no, no fan, no air conditioning. And the door open. We were worried about the snakes and the, and the scorpions. That's what we were worried because, because uh, when we were little kids, we, we would grab the scorpion and we would, and we would. That's what we did when we were growing up when I was a little kid. We're, we're, our dad told me, if you're not going to eat it, don't kill it. And I'm like, okay, dad. So I just grab it. And threw it. But that was a long time ago. Now, you close the windows, you close the doors, you put five chains, five locks. The keys on the car, you put like an extension to hold the, uh, the alarm, everything. Can't do none of that. Because there's no love. The world is upside down. Everybody, every, we're here today because, because we miss those things. Because we love God. Because we want God to come and get us. Imagine 20 years or maybe 30 years from today to, to the future. What's, if, the, if we see that there's no love right now, for one another, imagine in 20, 30 years, it's going to be worse. Matthew 24, 12, and 13 says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure into the end of, of same shall be saved. That's why we're, you know, the, the church, I look at it like a hospital. This is the way I look at it, like a hospital. Not like the hospital that we have in Denver or not, the hospitals over there, who goes to the hospital? Only the sick people go to the hospital. Only the people that wants to get saved. Only the people that wants to get cured. That's, that's, that's when they go to the hospital. But if I'm healthy, if I do exercise, if I'm, I, why am I going to go to the hospital? I don't need a hospital. I'm good. I'm healthy. The church... It's like a, I, in, in a way, don't get me wrong, I'm just thinking out loud. The church, who are we? We are all sinners. That's why we come to God. Because when we come to God, we, he cleans us. He makes us learn that we are all sinners, that we all need him. Where are we going to go if he only has the word of life? Either you're Mexican, you're Chinese, you're Russian. You're black, you're white, you're yellow, whatever the color you are, we all need Jesus. That's why we're all here today. When we're in heaven, what do you think, though? You're just going to see all Mexicans and, and uh, uh, how do you say, Americans or, or gringos? Or, <laughs> or what, what's, what's the word? Uh, uh, are you going to say, or, or nothing but Chinese? What are you going to see up there? We're going to see people from all kinds, from all over the world. If we don't practice the love here, how are we going to practice over there? If we don't practice love, you know, my, one of my good friends, well, I, I got two really good friends. One of them is black. But he's not black from, from the black here. He's black from like, he's really black. 
He's, and he's one of my best friends. My other friend, he's from Russia. He's, he speaks Russian, broken English, and broken Spanish. And he's whiter than white. And when I get in between the white and the black, then what do they call me? I don't know. Uh, you know the uh, cinnamon? They call me, you're the cinnamon. I'm like, why? But they love, they know the word of God. Upside down, left, right. And when we get, when we get together to read the Bible, I ask him questions. They ask me questions. He went, and we, we, when we get together reading the Bible, we all think, you know what? It doesn't matter. The only God that matters is Jesus Christ and our faith if we walk with God with our love. Because that's one of the mandatories that one of the uh, uh, God, to love God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your, you, with whatever you are, just love it with all your strength. And the second one is love your neighbor, love your brother the same way you love God. If we can't do that, I don't think all this time we've been coming to the hospital, we're not going to get saved. All this time we've been coming to church, we're not going to get cured. Who says amen? There's all positive results. It's always good, like Brother... Jerry was saying, a couple kids, teenagers went to, and there was po positive. And the word positive, it's always good. It's, so, it will, it's always hits my mind. The positive results is always good if we do it for God. To love one another. You know, it's... It's hard and difficult to understand that the prophets in the Bible are coming in, in this time, in this, this time, in these years. The prophet, all the prophets, is, is already, it's already became true. I thought it was going to be more further in the future, but no, it's going on right now as we speak. Guess how much people make, how much money a guy in Venezuela makes? A cop, a police officer. Three or four dollars, depends on how high you are in the police officer, in Venezuela. And here, they, you go to Colfax in Alameda, they want to clean your windshield for, for a dollar. They don't care, they want to they work. The Mexicans over there, the cartels are taking over more than Colombia, uh, Venezuela, Chile, Ecuador, even the United States. What do you think it's coming? There's good people all over the world, but there's also bad people all over the world. Look at Oklahoma bombing. Uh, what's his name? Timo Timote. Timo. What did he do? He's not Mexican. But then again, it's, there's crazy people all over the world. But one person is going to make bad another person. That's on him. A bad Mexican is not going to make me look bad. It's on him. A bad Venezuelan is not going to make the other Venezuelan look It's on him. A bad, a bad pastor is not going to make all pastor look bad. It's on him. He's going to get judged by God. We're all going to get judged by God. It's not where I see the door open. I come in. Once I'm in, I want to close the door so I don't let anybody else come in. That's not how it works. If the sun comes out for everybody. The moon comes out for everybody, for the whole world. 
Jesus is the light. He comes for the world. The word of God is for everybody. Not just for certain people. It's for everybody. It depends on you or me. Either we walk on that path or we take the wrong path. So going back to Luke, Lucas, 30, the verses that we read before, I want to read only three verses. And by a chance, three came down the certain priest that, that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. That's one of the guys that ignore the situation. Likewise, a, Le a Levita, when he was at the place, came and looked on him, and he passed by on the other side. But certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion for him. We are all here. Because we need compassion from God, right? Okay. Now, do we have compassion for our neighbor? Man, thank you. Praise the Lord, brother. 37 says, And he said, He that showed mercy on him, then said Jesus into him, Go, and do, do the likewise. If I'm going to do something so that I can get saved, just because I think I'm right, I'm not going to get saved. I'm going to do it because I love God and because I love him. I'm, I'm going to do that to him, to the guy in need, because I love him. Not because I've been told to do. Here, take it. Here, here's a couple bucks. Go and get yourself a coffee. No, I'm going to do that because I love this guy. Because I, if I do it with the love, God is going to weigh our hearts. God is going to see what we're doing what, what are we doing it for? Are we doing it for us because I want to get saved? Or are we doing it because God is telling us to, to do it because we love God? That's the two different things. Amen? Let's all stand up. The word of God is, is the truth. It's not about me. It's not, it's not about you. It's about who I'm doing it for. It's because the word of God is about loving one another. If I don't have that love, if I'm just doing it because i told to do, I'm not going to get saved. You can come 100, 200 times to church. You can do whatever. But you're not. You're going to go straight to hell. It's you or me or whoever. If we don't follow and if we don't love God, all we're doing is for nothing. Amen. Tell me with the uh, God, I love you. Tell me, say it after me. God, I am sorry. God, I love you. God, I know you love me too. 
For that reason, I'm willing to serve you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, I love you all. I know we all know this. I love you. And I hope you love me too. <laughs> Brother, you're going to help me. You don't love me. <laughs> I know you love me too. I love you too. Um, brothers and sisters, I love you all very much. God bless you. This is the word of God. We all dismiss. Thank you. God bless every one of you. Amen. Amen. You all be seated. <laughs>